Hey guys, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another vectors lesson. Last lesson we learned about position vectors. And uh, so to give you a recap of what they are, for example, if we had a position vector called U, um, I could define it as, for example, 6i plus 7j. And what that means is uh, if I had a Cartesian plane with the x-axis and the y-axis, then vector u would be going 6 units along the x-axis, 7 units along the y-axis, and it would end up here from the origin. So that's vector u. So we're going to extend that idea to now have position vectors in 3D. So let's define another vector, let's call it W. And I'm now going to have 6i plus 7j plus 8k. Okay, now how does this work? How do we draw it in three dimensions? So I want you to imagine, actually I'm just going to bring up the 3D modeling program that I've been using. So this is a 3D modeling program called Blender and you don't need to know anything about this program other than the fact that I have a cube in this program and I'm looking at it from different perspectives and if you have a look at the red line and the green line the red line is the x-axis and the green line is the y-axis so when I'm looking at the cube from this point of view it is a 2d shape right because it is just a square so what the moment this becomes 3d is when I change the view to about here and we can see that there is a blue arrow pointing upwards and that's the Z axis. So we have the X axis, the Y axis and then the Z axis is pointing up. Now when we draw this on paper however we draw it like this. So we draw it like this and we label um, this diagonal line as the x-axis and this horizontal line as the y-axis and the vertical line as the z-axis. So why do we do that? Well let's go back to Blender for a second and basically this is exactly uh, what we have where we have the x-axis coming down the diagonal, the y-axis is horizontal and the z-axis is vertical. So I know it's a bit hard to imagine but basically x-axis is now the one that's coming out of the screen, y-axis is going to the right and z-axis is going up. Okay, so that's what we have here. X-axis coming out of the screen, Y-axis to the right, Z-axis going up. So I'm going to define a point somewhere along this axis and it's going to be extremely hard to tell where it is. But let's say I define a point. Um, let's go two units along the X-axis. So this side is the positive side of X and so the right hand side of the origin whereas the other side would be negatives. So we move two units along the X axis and then we're going to move two units along the Y axis. So it's hard to see from this angle. But basically two units along the Y axis and then let's say four units along the z-axis. So, three, four. Okay, now this point therefore has the coordinate um, 2i 
Now the two units that are moving along the y-axis is negative, right? Because here is the positive end of y, and therefore this is the negative end. So it's negative two, and it's four upwards. Okay, so therefore the vector connecting this point from the origin. Okay, this vector here, let's call that vector. Um, M. Vector M therefore has the coordinates, uh, therefore has the position vector um, 2i minus 2j plus 4k. Now hopefully with most of the vector questions that we're going to give you in 3D, we will have drawn the vector for you. So you probably don't need to know how to draw these, but you do need to understand that this vector comes from the addition of three unit vectors. So we're moving two along the X connected with two along the Y axis, uh, negative uh, direction and then going four upwards. So this is a summation, the sum of three vectors. Three vectors added together to give you vector M. Okay, so that's the position vector M there. Okay, hope you guys have learned something from this tutorial. See you next time.